Hey, it's Jason from Bohemia Bees. Uh, it's about seven o'clock here on the Eastern shore of Maryland. It's a nice cool evening. And we're gonna show everyone how we super or why we super our colonies. You know, a lot of people ask when, you know, when should you put supers on? Um, a super is really just uh, a box of frames, usually medium frames, seen here on the right, that uh, is set up such so that you could harvest honey if you choose to do that. Uh, you see the colony over here to the right have various multicolored supers on them. The bottom boxes are the brood box. That's where the queen lays her eggs and maintains the brood nest. And we run single deeps. And then we have an queen excluder, as you can see in this uh, pink and purple hive. And that's to prevent the queen from coming up and laying into the honey super because we harvest the honey super. So anything in the bottom box is all for the bees. Anything above the queen excluder is for the uh, for us to harvest. And and we have several of them down our, our row that we're working on, you know, filling up with, with uh, nectar uh, and honey or nectar-based honey. Um, so what we're going to do with this colony is we do have a uh, medium super, as it's called, because it supers the, the, the queen excluder. And we have some drawn frames in here, as you can see, some older frames. And some of them actually have some cap honey that didn't get finished last year that we are going to let them finish up. And then some of these frames are just brand new foundation. This is a heavy waxed foundation, so they draw it out. Um, we're spacing them out with nine in a 10 frame box, such so that they build the comb out thicker. It's easier to harvest that way when you uncap them. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take the lid off and determine if we did need to be able to super this box. And I'll tell you, I, I kind of cheated and inspected beforehand, but when you're looking at when you should super a colony, I've always talked about volume of bees, right? So uh, we use screened inner covers here pretty heavily at the Bohemia Apiary because it's easy for us just to pull the lid off and see the volume of bees. How many bees are working what frame? Where are they at? Um, when you look at this particular colony, you'll notice the bees kind of transcend the whole, all 10 frames. Naturally, the outside frames, I'm sure, are just being worked on and being filled up and the brood's nest is in the middle six to eight frames. But the bees cover, you know, more than 50% or 80% of the colony, more than 50% of the frames. If we pulled a frame out of here, we would see that the frame on both sides has at least 50% coverage of bees uh, in order to um, make sure that they can maintain the nest, maintain the quality of the, of the colony, the cleanliness in the colony. You see some propolis over here and some wax on the other side. So these screened inner covers definitely get filled up in some spots, but you know, for us, be able to lift this lid off and not disturb the bees, not have them flying out at you so you can determine what's going on, uh, it's always nice. That's why we use the screened inner covers here um, in our apiary. Um, so we have a queen excluder over here. We're gonna pull this um, screened inner cover off and gently set it on top of the super. And the reason why I do that is such so the bees that are on the top of the frames and on the screen will then start to be working the super any bees that need to come up from the bottom will need to go through the queen excluder. You know, naturally your queen does not hang out on the top bars, but you always want to take a quick glance to make sure she's not running around on the screen. And we'll peek at that before we set it down. Let's go ahead and pull this off and set it on the super and make the quick uh, switch. And then we'll uh, show you what we did. Okay. So the bees are a little calm. We to take our hive tool. Gently crack the uh, screen and cover off. Try not to disturb too many of them. And I'm gonna quickly look at that screen inner cover, just glancing for the queen. She's definitely using that on there, but she sometimes is. I've set that on top of there. Now, in order to maintain to make sure that these bees are not gonna build too many connectors, for this screen, this queen excluder, I'm taking off some of the wax without making them too mad. Just, they'll build it back if they want to, they always do. But this way, we give them a little bit of a extra work to do if they want to do it. 
this burr comb can just be melted down for candles. Okay, girl. Okay. So now that we have this cleaned up, we take our queen excluder. Make sure we don't squish any bees. Place that on the... Oh, I did get one by accident. See, that does happen. Take our box. Set it on. Okay. Make sure it's squared up. Take our lid. Put our lid back on. And we're good to go. A little extra burr comb for our candle box, the wax box. All right, so there we go. So now we've got a colony that's been supered, and the bees will start to move up as the brood hatches out and allow them to start to work this uh, honey box up top. I'll come back and check on this tomorrow to make sure that they are indeed moving up and working it. You don't want to have a honey super that sits idle with a lot of uh, extra honey and or you know, comb or any pollen pieces in there. If you don't have enough bees, again, that's where the 50% coverage comes from. If you don't have enough bees to maintain the box or the frames in the box, you shouldn't have the box or the frames in it. Uh, they need to be able to do that. So, um, looks like these girls are happy now. We'll give them, uh, you know, a day to take a look and see if they can work their way up top and start to move it. Um, but this is how we super a a uh, colony here at the Bohemia Apiary and collect honey uh, for, for those that enjoy the honey harvest that we have here on the eastern shore of Maryland. If you like what you see on the channel, please subscribe to the channel, share with your friends. Uh, questions below, make sure they're positive. Uh, make sure that you uh, are constructive with your comments. If you think you know a better way, then present that in a more constructive manner. Um, naturally, we're all experts or we all think we're experts at beekeeping, but Honestly, we're all learning from the bees every single day. So remember, here at the Bohemia Apiary, where beekeeping is more than a hobby, it's definitely an obsession. Thanks for watching.